On the evening of the 24th of June 1859, Swiss entrepreneur Henri Dunant arrived in the town of Castiglione in northern Italy on urgent business matters. His fateful journey coincided with the nearby Battle of Solferino, the decisive encounter that led to the unity and independence of Italy from Austria. After 10 hours of fierce fighting between the franco sardinian alliance and the Austrian army, more than 6,000 soldiers were dead and 40,000 lay wounded on the battlefield. The remains of thousands of soldiers from both sides can be found in ossuaries at Solferino and San Martino della Battaglia. To try to understand why we had so many wounded and died exactly in this war of in this battle of Solferino. These bullets you can see here are of two kinds. The round one were used normally before in the battle before by all armies. In this battle, the French army introduced the point bullets and they made an explosion when they went into the body of the soldier. So that's why it couldn't find them all and most of the soldier died of infection. Dunant was deeply shocked by the suffering and immediately started to organize help. He spent three full days and night tending the wounded in Castiglione, mainly in the Chiesa Maggiore, so the main church of Castiglione, where 500 people were together, dying, suffering, and so on. And then he tried to reach the French headquarters in Cavriana, where he called for the release of the Austrian medical doctors who were captured, treated as prisoners of war, so that they could be released and could assist in giving medical assistance to the wounded. The church at Castiglione was turned into a temporary hospital and volunteers helped treat the wounded. Many injured soldiers died. Others, who had a chance of survival, were operated on in the back of the church. Soldiers having wounds in the central part of the body, meaning the head, the, the chest or the abdomen, if these wounds were penetrating, they were almost sure they would have died. And wounds of the limbs, arms or legs, when the bone was fractured, were ending up with an amputation. So imagine the amount of amputated limbs that were taking place at the time. After returning to Switzerland, Henri Dunant documented his traumatic experiences in a landmark book. His ideas about voluntary relief societies and a treaty protecting medical personnel on battlefields later led to the creation of the Red Cross movement and the first Geneva Convention. Today, 150 years after the fateful events, there are around 100 million Red Cross and Red Crescent staff members and volunteers belonging to 186 national societies. On Saturday evening, 13,000 people gathered for a torchlit procession in Solferino to commemorate the anniversary. Jakob Kellenberger, president of the International Committee of the Red Cross, reminded volunteers of the importance of their work, as people continue to suffer the consequences of war today. This is the set by European penny a big difference. The crowning moment has arrived. A sea of flickering torchlights illuminate the tower square in Solferino, as Red Cross volunteers from all around the world start the historic procession. Yeah.